recording. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> hey, we back, family. Let's get back to business. You probably already heard next race is the Twilight 5000. Ooh, we're gonna be on the track, man. So, if we running on the track, got a train on the track. Today is Tuesday, first workout of this 5K, sub 25K training block. And we got 200 meter repeats today. So it's uh, eight 200s. We're gonna rest to recover with a 800 in between. Then we got another set of eight 200s again. Um, this one, man, we, we getting the legs turned over. Um, I wanted to say I'm shooting for like 45 second uh, 200s. I don't really know what that equates to as far as uh, uh, pace right now. I just know 45 seconds pretty much is the goal. So that's what we on today. Eight 200s, 800 meter recovery between, and finish off with eight 200s again. So walking up to the track right now, I'm gonna uh, get two uh, warm up miles in before that, and then uh, do some dynamic movements, and then get to the workout. So I will catch back up with y'all either before the dynamic movements, during the dynamic movements, or right before the workout. I ain't decided yet, but I'll catch up with y'all then. All right. All right, family. Just finished up with my two mile warm up. Feel pretty good. It is warm out here today. Um, I don't know what my watch is saying. Let me see if it'll give me some weather reports. It gotta be mid to high 80s though. And the wind is kicking right now too. So I don't know, I'm kind of debating what I want to do with these 200s because I can either run into the wind or run with the wind. That's the very first workout I'm thinking about. I'm probably going to run with the wind today. Just keep it easy, you know. This don't have to be a hard workout, man. Got to get my legs used to turning over a lot faster for this 5K. But uh, I'm on my way to getting over here, get my dynamic movements in, uh, hydrate, and then get to these 200s, man. Get these legs turned over. Get ready for this 5K. We back on the track. Woo! Man, let's get it. I'm kind of geeked about this race. I'm nervous as hell because I know the work that's going to have to be put into it. But at the same time, I'm excited about it as well, too. Um, I'm doing this in the evening. It's like, it's a little past six in the evening. This is about the time that the race is going to start. It's going to be in July. Summertime shy. It's going to be hot and humid. So I'm trying to get myself acclimated to what those temperatures will probably be when I get towards race time then. So it's a hot one today. If it's anything like this, we run that 5K, it's gonna be rough. But that's why we do this, man. It's for the challenge. So back at the spot right now, I'm gonna get this dynamic movements in and then we run it with the wind for these uh, 200s. All right, man, I'll check back in. Peace. Let's get to these 200s. All right, I started a little early on my clock, but uh, we gonna do these 200s. We are gonna do this first eight into the wind. The last late, the late, the last late, the last eight, we gonna do with the wind. All right, so that's how we gonna do this. Into the wind first, and then with the wind on the last eight. So get myself ready. I don't know where the mark is, but 200 over here. Had that pass that boy y'all. Yeah, yeah, I did. Get it together, y'all. Alright. Alright, first set. 200. First eight. Here we go. No idea how fast that was, so we're gonna have to go with it right now. But 200 meter recovery, and we'll be back at it. 
All right, let's get it. All right, we coming up on rep four. My garment is trash. I keep starting back further and further on each lap. Excuse me, on each rep. So I'm way back here now. You can see I'm about to get ready to go. Rep number four, let's get it. looking like about 40 42 seconds so i need to slow down a little bit but that's red four i'll get back with y'all at eight let's get it all right y'all last rep on this first set so far it's been the same about 40 42 seconds not feeling too hard so i'm just gonna go with it here we go All right, that's my eight. Another 200 meter recovery. Rest for a minute. I got an 800 in between. All right, here we go. All right, just finished up that 800. I'm gonna walk around, got a, another minute rest. And then back to my second set of 200s. I'll put the GoPro down this time. So you'll probably see some clips of me running this straight. But uh, we about to finish this thing up. Uh oh, we all went looking behind me. We about to finish this thing up. All right, let's get it. All right, family 16, 200s is in the book. Good workout. Uh, whoop, I lost, I wanna say like four and a half miles. Average pace is like 756, that includes the recovery and uh, uh, the one minute rest as well too. It was pretty good. Like I'm not feeling super tired or beat up or anything like that. Some definitely beaming on me. That wind though was no joke. And it was cool at the same time because I had it on my back and I was running into it. So I'm about to go ahead and just uh, knock these two recovery miles out. And that'll be the full workout for the day. So uh, if I don't catch up with y'all after the recovery miles, I'll check back in with y'all on Thursday. We got some more 200s. I think some intervals mixed in with those as well too. But all in all, good workout. Guess I'll see y'all on Thursday. All right, peace. All right, welcome back, family. You should know the news by now. I'll be running the Tracksmith Twilight 5000 in Chicago Friday night on July the 12th. And this is not a road race, ladies and gentlemen. This is 5,000 meters, 12 and a half laps on the track, under the lights, on a Friday night, in summertime shy. Man, that atmosphere is going to be dope and electric. And I'm here for it. Matter of fact, I'll be there for it. So an obvious question for me here is, why attempt this again and you already accomplished this feat? Well, first and foremost, according to the company that put on this race and my Garmin for whatever reason, my 5K PR is officially 2002, not sub 19. So another reason I want to attempt this sub 25K is the fact that the first attempt was well over three years ago. And since then, I've only run one 5K, and that was basically after I took a year off of running. So needless to say that that 23, whatever it was, was not very encouraging nor uplifting to my running spirit. And I'm also 40 years old now. So part of me is battling this perception and commonly held myth that everything just goes downhill from here. Man, fuck that. I ain't going for it. So the last reason I want to talk about, I also discussed this on my 2024 goals video, but this training block is going to serve as a great injection of speed for when I start my marathon training in August. Um, I have an aggressive goal that I've set for myself for that marathon and being able to come into that training block with sub 20 speed or even close to that speed is going to be crucial for me physically and mentally. Now, this feat will not be without its challenges. 
And I've touched on this a little bit already, talking about my age and my recent 5K experience. Now, the 5K is a different animal. And lately, my training has been geared more towards half marathon. Training and racing, honestly, has been geared more towards half marathon and the marathon distance. So it would have been nice to have had more training and racing experience in this distance here recently so that all of this won't come as such a shock to my body initially. Now, playing off that challenge of not having as much recent 5K experience, I do have to overcome this mental hurdle that I have with the experience of training for and racing my last sub 25K. Now, what I mean by that is training for that race and actually racing that race overall was the hardest experience that I've gone through in my endurance athletic career so far. Now, don't get me wrong. I know what I just said about that half marathon I just ran recently. But pushing myself to run a sub 25K is right underneath that. And I mean right underneath that as the toughest race that I've pushed myself to run so far. So where marathon training is grueling, it's a long enduring event, 5K training is intense. It is very intense. This was the only time that for multiple workouts, I, I thought I was gonna throw up, right? It, it's very intense. And my brain remembers all of that. <laughs> it remembers all of that tough training and it remembers how tough that race was. So that's one hurdle that I have to mentally clear as I'm training for going sub 20 again. Now, another big challenge is that this race is gonna be run on the track. Now, I don't know how many of y'all have actually run a 5K race on the track before, but this guy hasn't. Now, I've had my fair share of training runs on the track, so I'm not foreign to the track at all. But 12 and a half straight laps on the track, bruh, that's another big mental hurdle that we gonna have to clear. Still better than the treadmill though. All in all though, I'm still up for this challenge. And I'm still very excited for this race despite knowing how challenging it's gonna be. This is gonna be a fun eight weeks of documentation leading up to this race. And actually, uh, the very first video in my original 5K series that I shot then is still the most watched video that I put out on this channel. So that was dope. Hopefully we can duplicate something like that again, but regardless of the fact it was fun documenting that series then, it's gonna be fun documenting the series now. And I'll make sure to link uh, that whole series at the end of this video so you guys can see what the hell I was putting myself through in order to run that first sub 25k as always family I appreciate y'all for rocking with me through this entire episode if y'all have any questions for me make sure y'all drop them down in the comments and please 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 like this video share it with your run fam and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to show support for this channel, make sure you check out the ambassador links in the description for discounts off your athletic brewing and you can products. Thank you in advance. And until next week, family, I'm Rod JLC. I'm signing out. Peace.